Welcome to the With Clarity and Purpose podcast with your host, Janet Borrego. Each week, I bring you an inspiring person or message to empower you to live life on your terms so you can be who you want to be, do what you are meant to do, and have the life you deserve to have. We will provide you with practical and cutting-edge approaches to continue getting clarity and direction on your path, mastering your mindset, and gaining confidence to tap into your inner wisdom so you can live on purpose. Welcome to another episode of With Clarity on Purpose, and today I am beyond excited <laughs> to have here with me Natalia Castillo. She is the founder of the Fire You Up movement and Thank the you. director of Mistakes as Latinas. Thank you. I'm so excited to have you because, Natalia, I feel you and I have a very common vision and mission, which is to empower as many women <laughs> we can. And I cannot hear more about your story. How are yes. you doing? Thank you for being thank here. Thank you. No, thank you so much for having me. I love this space, the energy that you've created here in your podcast. I want to thank you so much for this opportunity. I am Natalia Castillo. I was born and raised in Bogota, Colombia. So we also <laughs> have that in common that we're both Latinas. <laughs> And I feel like God gave me the opportunity to come to this country at the age of 18. Wow. Uh, I came here to learn English, which you've really? also I been there. Yes, I've been <laughs> That's there. a hard <laughs> journey that we went through. But I know that God brought me here for a purpose and a reason. I didn't understand it at the beginning. I, uh, it took me a long time to get used to the culture and like to start really building my career and my life here. But 18 years later, I cannot tell you how happy I am to be in this country and to be living the dream of doing that everything that I was born to do. Um, I studied advertising and marketing I in the that. University of Houston. And after that, I worked in my field for about 10 years. And then I got the opportunity to participate in a beauty pageant. <laughs> they invited me to participate, and I had the opportunity to actually win the Miss Texas Latina title in 2014. And that's really where my passion for empowering women was born. Wow. It is when I was a title holder and I was given the opportunity and the platform to touch lives at a different level and to really connect at a human level with uh, women. Uh, but slowly but surely once I finished like my reign and all that I was like there is more here mm. like there is more that we can be doing with this women and, and how to change their perspective in life so slowly but surely I started uh, growing my platform directing the pageant it's been seven years since I've directed Miss Texas Latina and now I have the opportunity to also help women of all ages all backgrounds with fire you up it was born and inspired by the beauty pageant and I want to help women feel confident, feel happy about who they are and really learn to get to know themselves and uh, take them in a self-discovery. I love that. Oh my God, <laughs> that story, that inspiring story. I'm like, there is so much here that I want to talk about. See, Let's I'm see. telling you, Let's she's inspiring us already. <laughs> If you're seeking to boost your clarity in any decision you have been wanting to make or any situation that you're going through and you keep asking yourself, is this the right decision for me? Is this the right approach for me? Even is this the right path for me? I want you to go right now to my show notes because I have prepared a free and simple three questions framework for you to go through that by answering these questions, I promise you'll feel a lot more clearer and you'll start creating fulfilling outcomes out of the decisions you're making. Just go right now or you can go to ybcoaching.com slash clarity. Enjoy the episode. So, okay, so you studied marketing and advertising, right? Yes, that and was my then, field. So, so tell me, you had a, a, be, a piece of your career there, and yes. then somewhere you switched. So how did you gain that clarity? How did you say, you know, I want to try something different? How did you find your purpose? How, how did that process happen? <laughs> that happened by putting myself out there and trying new things. New experiences always bring you discovery. Uh. 
they bring you things that maybe you never know you're good at. Yes, and I feel I like that. that to me was when a friend of mine invited me to participate in this pageant. I never thought I could do that. <laughs> I was like, are you kidding me? I'm five feet tall. Uh, beauty queens in Colombia are like six feet tall. And I always had a stereotype about a beauty queen as like, they're perfect, mm. they're beautiful, they're tall. And I never saw myself as one. Yeah. So I decided to go for it because this organization doesn't look for um, a certain height or weight. They're more looking for someone who wants to make an impact wow, in the community. Wow, I didn't know that. So huh. I said, you know what? I think I can do that, and I think I can try it out. And I had never been in front of a crowd. I had never spoken, done public speaking ever. But the passion gave me the opportunity to learn how to walk in heels, wow. to learn how to public speak, to answer a question on stage. And slowly but surely, I started like learning new talents that I had as far as like emceeing. I started like emceeing different shows. And little by little, I started finding passion and in, in a lot of fulfillment in, in all those in all those scenarios. So slowly but surely, next thing you know, I started growing my network as well with my sponsors and the people that I connected when I was a title holder. Mm -hmm. Then when it came down to finish my reign and uh, crowning the next girl, the founder of the organization said, hey, you've done a really good job as a as a beauty queen it's time for you to take over and direct the oh pageant. wow really <laughs> and i was like wait what so then i started wow. understanding that maybe god provided me that experience of going through the pageant to then learn how to do it and learn the struggles that the girls go through and then be a director and, and do the best that i can so it's been amazing to answer your question the transition happened when I started doing more and more on the pageant and the Fire You Up field that my career started shifting and shifting and it was time to make the change. It was time to go full force in what I wanted yes. to do and I went for it. It hasn't been an easy journey. I do have to say this. It hasn't been easy leaving something that was so uh, safe and secure as having, you know this, because mm -hmm. you also went I through that very the change. Well. <laughs> but I also feel like the fulfillment is unmatched in seeing these women transform is what keeps me going every day. And that motivates me and meeting people like you, connecting with people that have similar missions and passions and that want to help. I feel like that's living in, uh, that's, I'm living my purpose. I, I <laughs> love that because one of the things to gain clarity is to take action, right? It's experimenting, it's trying yes. new things. And you're the perfect example of that. <laughs> because Thank sometimes you. people expect like clarity is a thing that is gonna no. come out of nowhere. You gotta get uncomfortable and, and just yes, go jump, there. Jump into the jump unknown. In, yeah, <laughs> burn the bridges. Like one of my teachers said, burn the bridges so you don't have to go back. There is no way to go back. <laughs> that's on it. <laughs> extremist way of thinking <laughs> but I mean sometimes you yeah. gotta do it yeah. like that you step out of your comfort zone and then you discover a lot of things and I also think that you discover things that that you like but you don't that you don't like and maybe yeah. areas that you need to work on and that's, that's another great thing about putting yourself out there is that it's not only discovering great things but also things that we have to focus on and really like grow more on and surround ourselves with people that are going to help us in those mm -hmm. areas mm -hmm. so that is really fire you up is all in one word and we fire up women <laughs> i love it i, I love to be part, part of it up too. Well. i know i'll be part of it i'll be one of the coaches and i cannot wait because i truly <laughs> believe in your mission Thank and you. Something that I admire about you is that you take massive action. You're like, <laughs> I have this idea, let's make it happen. And you do it in big ways, right? So that's Thank something you. that I really appreciate you from the entrepreneurial and the human being you are. Thank you. Thank now, you so much. whenever you started this new journey for you and you started growing, Tell me a little bit about the confidence aspect of it because there is a new field that you have been never exposed to. So there is a new belief in the self that you have to start embracing. So how, how did that transition? Yes, no. to be 100% honest with you, th those are things that people always ask me like, how are you so confident? How are you so like out there and like fearless? And the truth is that I still have fear yeah. <laughs> when I do it. Normal. I yeah. still get nervous when I jump <laughs> on stage and I'm competing. I do fitness competitions too. And I, when I go out there and I'm like emceeing a show or I'm about to uh, do anything that's like big and massive, 
I'm terrified. I'm also scared. And I think that that's the key is doing it regardless of the mm -hmm. fear. I always tell the girls, like, the only fear that you have to have is having fear. Like, just let that go because that's not going to, like, let you really explore. The I minute that you actually say, you know what, I am nervous, but I'm going to turn this nerves and this energy into excitement, and you're able to make that mental switch and that energy switch, you use that fear in a momentum and you actually make it energy and you yes. make it something exciting. Momentum, right? 100%. Emotion is energy motion. You got to move in order to create that traction. 100%. And every morning, I mean, she works out every morning <laughs> and she moves and she's like, I'm ready, physiology ready, go, go, go. And I love that because it is Thank true. You. So many things start with the moving. You got to move to get unstuck, yes. even mentally. You yes. just got to move yes. physically. Yeah, So 100%. I love that you mentioned that. Thank you. Yeah, no, no, definitely, like you were saying earlier, action creates uh, the the momentum, and I feel like that's the most important, and starts with your body, moving your body. Mm -hmm. I cannot tell you, like, if I don't work out in the morning, <laughs> my brain doesn't function. Those are things that were left from a clinical depression that I had back in 2008. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a pretty... Uh, scary uh, time that I that I went through but I learned that when you take care of your mind your body and soul you can literally like live life to the fullest so I am so grateful that I went through that experience because it allowed me to see a total different side of this world and it allowed me to have more compassion for people that are going through depression people who have anxiety people who struggle with mental health mm -hmm. have a very soft spot in my heart is something that I have educated myself on. It's something that I feel like I learn more and more every day about mental health. And I'm super passionate about the topic. I feel like we all should learn more about it and that way we can be more patient with ourselves, yes. have more self-compassion and accept the things that we cannot change, but also work on the things that we can. So Fire You Up has a huge part of that. We give a fitness nutrition challenge and we get you moving. We yes, okay, tell us <laughs> more about it. Tell us more about Fire You Up. How did you actually get the idea of creating it? And how did the first event, because a lot of our listeners, they are trying to gain clarity in their careers too. They are trying to seek their passion, their purpose. And maybe they have this idea, but they're afraid of executing, like, like you were saying. Yes. So tell us about that first event. Were you nervous? How did you <laughs> find the girls that joined? I mean, how was the whole creation process? Yes, yes, I feel like everything that happens to you you in life and every single job or every encounter that you have prepares you for the next yes. thing, the next level and sometimes you don't understand <laughs> it like I have to share this but I was a waitress for a long time while I was going to school and paying for my my degree and waitressing and, and waiting on people helped me so much with people's wow. skills and it helped me like really understand sales marketing so when I went to school and I finished my degree I started working in my career and being an event coordinator I met a ton of vendors and people that I connected through and had experience of how to plan events then I became the beauty queen and I started learning more about speaking and all that so when it came down to the transition on on when I made the switch of I need to create something else mm -hmm. which is fire you up is because I saw the need in women that would apply for the program that we already had, which was the Texas Latina, and they would want to just join because of the experience that was provided. The wow. events, the growth, and the transformation. Not so much about, oh, I want to be a queen, or the crown, or the sash, but they wanted to learn that extra confidence, step out of their comfort zone, have fun, meet other women. So that's when I knew that we needed to create a space for women to come together, to learn together, and to be in a safe space where we're not judged mm -hmm. and we can open up and we can learn from each other. Because wow. I feel like everything that you've been through in your story yeah. is a huge blessing to the world. And if we understand that power of your struggles and what you've been through in your story, we can literally like do a ripple effect and change society. I love that. Oh yes. my God. And I love that you're mentioning with every experience you had in your life, you were building up to where you are now. 100%. So when you yes. look back, all the dots connect in perfect sequence yes. in order to you for you to be here. 100%. And, and I do believe that what we are doing today 
also has a bigger purpose later yeah. on. So it's understanding that today, being present, enjoying every second step of the way, all the challenges that come our way, because that's another thing. Sometimes people see me and they're like, oh, you're always happy. You, everything goes out for you. And I'm like, it's not that easy. It's exactly. not perfect. Yeah. I also have setbacks. Mm -hmm. I have, I stumble every, every day. I have like challenges that I have to face. But I feel like those things that God is putting me through today, are pre preparing me for what's coming next. So then I'm like, you know what, God? I've been here before. You always pull through. You always help me. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to just accept what it is now. Try to learn from the experience and whatever it is that I'm going through and help as many people as I can, even when things are not going the way you you think that they should be going. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One of my favorite speakers, he says, in order to feel fulfilled, there are two elements of the equation, growing and giving. Yes. Oh and how God, can, right? How can we grow if we don't face challenges, right? So the other day I was facing a challenge and I'm like, this is a perfect <laughs> opportunity to keep growing. You got this, just keep pushing. So I love that you see that the same way. Yes. Because yes. if not, how we are ready to face even bigger, to run bigger organizations, to run bigger events. A hundred percent. Yeah, if we don't go through the hard times yeah. and the hardships, then we're not prepared for the next level. And I think that that comes with a lot of maturity and it's not easy. Once again, I do yeah, want to tell everybody out there, if you want to be an entrepreneur, if you want to start your own thing, it's going to be hard. It's it going to be hard. a ton of work. And you have to surround yourself with people that believe in what you're doing and that will also help you and actually fire you up when you need yeah. to, like, you know, when you're stumbling or when you're falling. Um, but I, I strongly believe that with faith, with fitness and nutrition, and with a lot of determination, you can do anything. Sometimes you need to loan the courage from someone else, right, <laughs> in order to keep going. That, that's what yes. I see. And yes. I, I think the community is a big aspect. Oh, yes. And that's something you touch and fire you up. 100%. So tell me a little bit, how do they know, how the listeners know if fire you up is the right thing for them? Yes. Who are the girls that are coming to this amazing event? Yes, yes, absolutely. So fire you up is open to all nationalities. Nice. It is open to all ages, which is something that's very fascinating and something that at the beginning, I wasn't sure about if we should uh, limit the age or maybe, you know, do a minimum of age and maximum. And, and then I started realizing and noticing that the young ones learn so much from the older mm. ones, but the older ones literally like get so much out of the, the younger participants. So it's open to everybody that wants to polish themselves, that want to feel uh, a lot better with themselves that want to build that confidence when like speaking in front of a crowd, maybe that has been a fear of yours for a long time and this is the opportunity to do it in a safe space I love that. Yeah, and yeah. conquer those fears and focus once again on finding yourself. Uh, we get a lot of applications of women that feel like they're in a funk. Mm -hmm. They feel like there is something missing, that they've lost that fire, they, they've lost that motivation that to get up and, and do something else. So that's what we want. We want to give them an opportunity to meet wonderful people like you and to get inspired by the people that come in touch with the program, but also with the other participants because the community, once again, is gold. It's it so is important. Gold to surround yourself gold. with those people like Susan. I mean, mm. Susan is a great friend of ours. Shout out to Susan. <laughs> Susan, we love you. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and a great, uh, actually, participant of Fire You Up season one and also ambassador of our, of our program. And she connected us. And I, I feel know. like there is so much power in that in, in the fact that they the women that go through the program also want to give back. We've had a lot of participants that become sponsors afterwards and they want to help another woman go through the program and they pay for yeah, the Yeah, I know. I saw a sponsorship event in your in your social media today, I yes, think. Yes, yeah. yes, 100%. That's so we cool. have opportunities for scholarships for women that maybe cannot afford it, but they want to do it and they really are willing to put themselves 100% in the program. But yeah, every single workshop that we teach you um, focuses 100% on your mental state and fixing your mind first and yes, then the outside because it. there are so that's many people secret. that think okay i just have to put makeup on and i'll feel amazing and i'm like that that only yeah. helps for a few minutes and a few hours exactly but what about like a deeper confidence that is so important i love that and i always say people 
has it happened to you that sometimes you're happy and it doesn't matter how many challenges they happen outside of you, you're like, I'm ready, let's go. <laughs> and if you are sad inside and maybe this great event happens, you just don't match to that event emotionally. You're just like, oh my God, no, everything sucks. Even if there is something great happening outside. Yes. So the key is what Natalia is saying, is mastering your internal state yes. because the external will follow. It doesn't matter what happens around you. Yes, 100% is so important. And to your point, is very true. There are a lot of people that live their life um, just in a very dark space yeah. mentally. Mm -hmm. And they don't do anything about it because sometimes they get used to that feeling. Yeah. And once you're stuck in that feeling and you keep surrounding yourself with the same people, you keep doing the same thing, you don't break the bad habits, mm -hmm. you're going to live a very unfulfilling life. Of course. And I feel like, I mean, we all learned this lesson with COVID and everything that has happened in the last two years, that really like living life is the small moments and the enjoying today and being present. That's one so of the true. things that my dad literally reminds me every single day live for today and today only like don't worry about what happened yesterday or what's going to happen that's not even How true beautiful. yet yeah. but it is today the conversations you have with people the beautiful weather just the small things and i feel like that is also a thing that we push our participants to do is to be more present yes our phones and technology is is important and sometimes we get kind of wrapped up in in that because we have to do it but I feel like Fire You Up gives them an opportunity to disconnect from that world and connect Much with needed. themselves mm. and with other beautiful Yes, women. connect to your own input because yes. the reality is like we, all f we are filled with everyone else's input. Like even a book, a, the TV, people, sometimes you just need to connect inside yes. in order to, kno to know what you need outside, right? Yes. So I love that. Yes. Okay, so before you mentioned some of the participants, they may feel stuck, they may be missing that fire in them. What is the after? So after they go, to, go to fire you up, how are they? <laughs> I'm sure they are fired up. They <laughs> are fired up. It is a beautiful tr uh, transformation that goes mm. through it. Um, my favorite are seeing the moms, like they go through the program and then their kids them. go and celebrate with them at the oh celebration of enlightenment. <laughs> and they're just like glowing and to me, that's like so special because some of these women have never had an opportunity to feel that energy and that success and, and feeling good um, however after the program of fire you up I feel like that's where when the real transformation happens mm -hmm. because it's when they practice everything that they've learned yes. in the program and it's up to them to stay uh, on top of like the new habits that we've helped them build so I think that it's extremely important to continue the community and stay connected with the other participants. I've seen a lot of Fire You Up participants in the past that do business together with other women wow. that participated, women that uh, just started their own business or their, but I, I can always see that connection and I love that. I wish that we could do more, you know, like to kind of like keep yeah. keep going like every month or, or something, but of course I have, you know, other, other responsibilities. Course. But I love the fact that the women ask after the program uh, have have a new energy about them and have a sense of purpose and I think that that's extremely important. I love that. Hey, and the more we share our stories, maybe our listeners will, will be inspired to create a similar group and maybe yes. you cannot do it by yourself but we'll all do our, <laughs> share, our, our share and our part and yes. we'll, we'll keep empowering the world really. A hundred percent because I feel like every single one of us yeah. has the power to impact someone else mm -hmm. in a positive light is up to us to get out of our comfort everyday life and go out there and say, who can I be a blessing for today? Make it a mission to make someone else day better. <laughs> and it can be so simple. It doesn't have to be like starting a whole organization and doing it if you don't have the time or maybe exactly. the energy, but it can be the small things of being kind to someone else because I feel like so many of us and all of us, I think it, it, the human nature is always going through something and we're battling every day we're all mm -hmm. dealing with family stuff we're all dealing with difficulties at work we're dealing with a lot of things that you know are against us but if we're kind to each other i feel like it's an easier world to live in exactly totally so, i agree and um, sometimes I just think of a random person and I just share with them like a kind message of something yes. they did in the past and I feel that's even like a smaller but meaningful way to do something about it. Uh, 
Yeah. A hundred percent. And also reaching out to people to mm-hmm. check on them. Not yes. so much of like, oh, what are you doing? Very superficial. But hey, how are you <laughs> yes. feeling? Is it, it, let's go work out together. Let's, is there something that you, need to, that you need to share with someone? Because a lot of women bottle up a lot of emotions mm-hmm. and things that have happened to them. And when you don't release those emotions, I feel like there is a limit. I mean, every human being has yes, their cap. Yes, totally. Uh, so what a wonderful uh, thing to be able to be uh, someone's outlet and let's go on a walk to the park or let's jump on a call. It doesn't have to be so elaborated as meeting in person. By being there for someone and checking on people to see how they're doing. Like, I am very blessed. Like, this last week was very challenging for me. And I had a random friend. I, I love her very much. But random, like, out of the blue, she said, hey, uh, I just wanted to just check on you. Like, I just literally was just checking that. on you and seeing. And they made a difference in your day. Oh, my God. Yeah. And it made a total mm-hmm. difference because then I was like, yes, I need to talk to someone. Thank you so much. We met for coffee and it was so healing and liberating. I love them. So I'm telling you, it's like, why cannot we all be like that for somebody else? So I encourage our listeners and everybody that's listening to this that you have the power in you to also make a difference in the world. And when you do that for someone else and you give mm-hmm. back, that's when your struggles become less. Because you receive. In order yes. to receive, you got to give back. So yes. energetically and everything else, it just works out also in your favor. A hundred percent. I agree with you a hundred percent. And I love everything that you do as well. I've been following you for a while <laughs> yes. on Instagram. Thank you for th- Instagram uh-huh. is the best. Yes. But I love um, the gift that you are also to the world and everything that Thank you, you so are providing. Much. Uh, so I'm excited. What are you doing in Fire You Up? I want to tell oh you my God. our future participants. So excited. <laughs> yes. So we'll be having a workshop. Something that you mentioned, right? That in yes. order to move forward, you got to release what is limiting you. You got to release those negative emotions, limiting beliefs. And this is something I do in my coaching program too. So I'll be doing some of that <laughs> with them. And love part it. of the release is a forgiveness meditation. Yes. Many times we have a lot of interactions, but that they create tension on us. And we don't do kind of a cleanse of those interactions. So we'll be doing a lot of forgiveness work, which I think is going to be very healing for the participants. Yeah, it's liberating. And I feel like you take a huge weight off your shoulders and you kind of start a new chapter. And you you say, you know what, I'm going to pass this page and I'm going to begin a new a new chapter of my life. So I'm so grateful. I'm so excited. I'm like, your energy and cannot everything. Cannot wait awesome. to meet everyone. <laughs> this is going to be wonderful. And I'm just so Thank excited. You. Thank you for the opportunity too yes, because of I, I think I wouldn't be there if it wasn't for you. So I really appreciate yes. you. Yeah. Thank you, Susan, for introducing us. <laughs> <laughs> we love you. And but the yes, community. Knowing. Yeah. I think entrepreneurship, right? Some of our viewers are very interested in that transition to entrepreneurship. And entrepreneurship can be a lonely journey if you are not intentional about connecting with those like-minded individuals. Yes, and also having a very strong why. So yes, before totally. you jump you jump on board on whatever it is that yeah. you're passionate about or what that you want to do, understand mm-hmm. that your why is what's going to carry you through the hard times. Because I'm Super telling you, true. there have been times that I'm like, you know what? I'm going back to corporate. I'm going to go make <laughs> a ton of money. Hey, I'll I'm see not going to less than a year, so no worries. I'm with you. <laughs> but then my why and mm. seeing these women really like transform I'm like that's my why then I refocus and I'm like God you brought me here like continue giving me the energy that I need to continue blessing this this people and creating this movement and momentum when people can create and and keep going with their own path and creating and and helping other women I love that and I think having also as part of that why that long-term vision of a compelling future because in the worst days of our life, the only hope we have is the hope of a compelling future, of tomorrow, of a, of a better tomorrow. Yes. So creating that for us, I think it's super important. Yes, yes, I, I love that. And I, I feel like it's a, it's a balance, it's a hard balance yeah. to find where you are hopeful for what's coming and having ambition and drive is a great thing. And I, I have to say that for sure but also learning and understanding to celebrate the small victories and where we are today. That's huge. Because there have been many times where 
you don't you ignore or you forget that where you we are today is what we dreamt of yes <laughs> yes totally and i'm like wait a second <laughs> so wherever you are in life no matter where you are remember that you pray for this day one day if it, it, whatever it is the scenario even if it was being able to go to school or so finding cool. a significant other that you love and respect i don't know anything that you have in your life right now and i feel like that comes with a lot of gratitude which is another yeah. huge part of fire you up is focusing on being grateful for the opportunities being grateful for our health Uh, just filling our hearts with gratitude instead of like, oh, I, I wish I had this. I, I wish I had more that. of that. And um, I feel like that's where we find the happiness is being grateful for It's today. It's trade your <laughs> expectations for appreciation and your life will that. change. That's Ooh, a I love that. I'm full of quotes. <laughs> <laughs> that one is good. Say it again. But trade your expectations for appreciation and your whole that. life will change. Oh my God, that's so true. And I literally was talking yeah. to my dad about this the other day. My dad is like my mentor. I love him so oh much. My God. Creative director of Fire You Up. He's like oh amazing. Oh my God, really? He lives in <laughs> Colombia, but every day we're like chatting about everything. And wow. he told me, he was like, it's so important not to expect anything from yeah, anyone is true. or anything. One of the biggest lessons, yeah. Yeah, because you're going to be disappointed. Yes, no, that is so true. <laughs> <laughs> so have no expectations. Just be grateful for what's coming. And when things happen that are good, then you're like, whoa, what you a great surprise. <laughs> so anyways, it's been a fun journey. I can tell you that um, I feel very blessed to have this opportunity and to meet women. Like when I chat on the phone with the participants that apply, Uh, we have this conversation about what they want, their goals, and I get very like excited. And at the same time, I understand it's a huge responsibility. Mm -hmm. yep. uh, so I don't just bring anyone on board uh, because I it's a big that. responsibility. Yes, it I is. feel like they're trusting us with so much and uh, their lives. And I feel like it's important to respect where they are, but also provide them a sense of love, positivity, and really create an environment where they feel safe. And supported. Uh, and yeah. supported, yeah. And love, like physical touch, like giving a hug, like that is important for us as humans. So I am so happy that uh, you're jumping on board and yes, your beautiful energy to go. is <laughs> going to be amazing for them. So thank you again. I love that. So <laughs> let's talk a little bit about mental health. What is your routine? What is your daily routine? I mean, what do you do? I want to, I'm always curious with every <laughs> guest. What do they do on a daily basis in order to continue investing on, on themselves? So what do yes. you do? So I do, I get up. Sometimes I struggle with the alarm <laughs> clock. I, I have a technique for that, and <laughs> oh we performing help. technique. I'll, I'll help you out. <laughs> Because I snooze sometimes, so I do have to say that. But <laughs> uh, getting up early in the morning already gives me a sense of victory. Yeah. It, yeah. it just adds up, like, oh, my God, I got up early. I'm, I'm going to start my day. Definitely coffee first thing. I'm Colombian. <laughs> we same. drink coffee since we're, like, five years old. But I um, drink my coffee and then I eat something. I try to eat something before my workout. That way I can go all out. And, and then I go to the gym and that's it. I work out. I do my, you know, weights and cardio. And it doesn't have to be a long session for it to be successful. Yeah. I was just chatting uh, with one of my great friends and workout, workout partner. She was saying, we were all both saying, the fact that we made it is already a victory. Sometimes it is mentally true. it's just getting to the gym, moving your body, even if it's 30 minutes, 45 minutes, whatever it is that you can afford as far as time. And, and then after that, I shower, start doing, you know, my emails and just start getting on phone calls, getting ready for whatever it is, like if it's a meeting mm -hmm. or um, any invitation that I have, networking and all that. And, and then I do some marketing and social media. You know that that's part of the, every day. Day job. <laughs> every day of our every lives. Day. We got to do sales and marketing, which is another thing that we include in the program is uh, teaching our participants so to uh, understand how to present themselves in the best light. And at the end of the day, we're selling every day. We're every selling day. ourselves. We're selling our ideas. We're selling our, our style. We're selling what well, we're going to go to eat, everything. Everything. It's persu persuasion, right? 100%. Even with ourselves. Uh -huh. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Sometimes we gotta sell <laughs> ourselves to ourselves. It's like, you're amazing. You got oh my this. God, I love it. 
<laughs> that is it's so true. true. I've never heard that, but it's we so are our hardest customer at times, many times. <laughs> oh my god, that is so true. I agree with that a hundred percent because sometimes we really have to like really <laughs> sell ourselves. But um, I feel like having your own brand and your own identity also gives you that confidence. It is true. So yeah. building that and, and learning what are triggers and things that maybe are gonna trigger me throughout the day. Uh, I just know myself, and I know that you know maybe spending too much time on uh, doing social media or things like that can affect my mental so I was like okay let's put the phone down for a little bit so I try to create those um, spaces in which I'm more like of a balance mm -hmm. even if breaking the the habit is listening to a song in the middle of the day to kind of break it up and change your your energy and your emotions I feel like we have so much power over how we feel that sometimes we don't even understand how powerful it is. It is. Where you can break completely the energy of your of your body by taking some time to breathe. Let's mm -hmm. breathe for five minutes and then you feel completely different. Yeah, tune into the now because a lot of times our mind is in the future, in the past, we are not here. This is the only moment like your dad says. So coming yes. back into a now. Into a now, yeah. yeah. So that's part of my journey. I talk to my dad on a daily basis. He's like oh my God, number one fan. That. Oh, that's he's amazing. part of my daily routine. <laughs> uh, both of my parents are a huge inspiration, but my dad has been a huge role model for me. Wow. Uh, he's taught me a lot of things about life and also the determination that he lives with every day inspires me so much. He goes through chaos every day back home and he yeah. still handles himself in such a grateful manner. Uh, he enjoys little moments. He's he's a very great role model for me and I, I love my dad. Uh, so I that's pretty much my day and right now that we're in the middle of the season and we're about to kick off Fire You Up, we uh, I have a lot more phone calls. I bet you do. So I'm on the <laughs> phone a lot and it's so funny because some of the participants call or they schedule their um, application and they're like, oh, I didn't know it was going to be you calling. I thought it was going to be someone else. And I'm like, hello, it's me. <laughs> I feel like it's so, it's such a, it's part of the, the fulfillment. Even if they don't join, just talking to them of about course, it. Of course, yeah. It's part of the, 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 the excitement and the fulfillment that I get out of it. I love yes. that. Oh my God, <laughs> this interview has been so inspiring, Natalia. And Thank I really so appreciate you taking the time, coming here, sharing your inspiring story with everyone Thank else. You. Because that's how we create that trickle effect of yes. inspiring each other. So yes. where can they find more about you? Like the information will fire you up. <laughs> Just give us all the goodies here. The goodies. <laughs> I would say my Instagram is the easiest way to find everything that I'm involved in. So I am Natalia Castillo. You can put it right here. And that's where you find the Fire You Up, you find Miss Texas Latina and everything that I've done. Uh, if you're interested in participating in Fire You Up, it's fireyouup.com with only one U. And um, that's it, just send your application. We only have five spots. Whoa. So I'm excited. They're to, flying. They, they're flying. And it's a total yes. of. of uh, we have about anywhere from 20 to 25. Wow. Depends on, yeah, on each season. but. I, I love that size because <laughs> you can get to know each other. It's it's really cozy and warm, you know. A hundred percent. Yeah, we want it to be an intimate experience That's in which beautiful. we can also share on a one on one basis with the coaches too, and not have like such a big group where there is not that connection. Yeah. Um, and then that's it. I would encourage every listener that's, you know, that came in and joined us today to take care of your mental health uh, on those daily habits to really pay attention to how much you're sleeping, how you're sleeping. It, sleep is another big part of my day that I forgot yeah, to mention. I a hundred percent. Me too. Uh, and having the, also the support system. Uh, my husband is a huge part of everything that I do, but also having him at home gives me that uh, come home to no matter what mm -hmm. happens during the day and that yeah. foundation is so important. I so en I encourage you ladies out there and everybody who's listening to this podcast to pick the people around you very selectively. Like don't just be random with who you allow yourself to hang out with because those people have a huge impact in your life. Uh, so I do want to leave your listeners with that. Uh, reach out if you need any help. If we can be a help for somebody, by all means, we're here. And thank you so much. I thank you so much for this because it's so inspiring to be talking to someone like you since I met you. It was like <laughs> instant connection. We, we have rapport, instant rapport. We love each other. So yes, I, I really you. appreciate you being here again. And 
Our listeners, please follow her in Instagram, Thank social you. media, check Fire You Up, everything to support you and your community, Gracias. which is all of us, too. Yes. Thank <laughs> you so much. We'll see you guys Bye. later. Bye. Thank you, everyone. See you next week. Ciao. Ciao. <laughs> Thank you so much for listening at With Clarity and Purpose. I really hope you enjoyed today's episode. Sharing is caring. Please share with your friends and family so we can continue building an empowered community together. I'll see you next week.